We begin tonight in Australia. We're following Debbie as she moves slowly, brutally, approaching the mainland from the east, increasing in strength as she neared land. And the first land she hit was Hamilton Island, tourist resorts built to withstand exactly this kind of weather. Many people who tried to leave were simply unable to. No flights, no boat trips, obviously. Dan Smith is there on a family holiday, and he spoke to us from inside his hotel. Outside the front window and the back door, a lot of pressure, a lot of heavy winds going on. It's a bit scary, but according to what we can see, past the worst. I think we're just about to come up on the eye. The pictures you've posted are extraordinary, and they show the rain sweeping across the frame from left to right. The wind must have been ferocious. You can tell as your windows buckle in and out. Um, so there's two ways windows can smash out inside of a cyclone or a hurricane. That's uh, pressure coming in and pressure pushing out. Um, and you combine that with flying debris, it's a recipe for disaster. Um, I think we're really lucky to be in a resort island at the moment because uh, there's not a lot of debris around. Whereas when you're around a neighborhood, I think you have a lot of wood and bricks and people store outside. Being on Hamilton Island, I think it's quite a tidy island uh, if you've ever been. So we're qu feeling quite safe. For example, you look outside, there's not much debris flying around. Yeah, that's a wonderful thing. You sound like you've got kids there. Are they all right? How are they coping with all of this? Yeah, yeah, we've got my son, Nolan. He's, uh, he's turning two years old. He, uh, he's not aware of it. I think whatever uh, the, the Oatleys did at the Refue Hotel to uh, protect it from cyclones, they've done a great job. I think we've got strong windows, strong doors, and the only thing he's asked me, he said, uh, Daddy, what's that noise? So that's all, that, that's, uh, that's about the impact so far. We're not gonna get uh, too confident about it. We're still staying away from the windows and have a mattress up uh, just in case anything happens. So staying safe, uh, keeping it positive. Good man, Dan. Can you describe the noise? What, what, what was the noise your boy heard? Oh, uh, it's uh, probably the high winds and the howl, right? So, right, and you can kind of see the uh, the curtains blow in and out a little bit. A uh, little bit of clicking outside, but again, that's quite impressive. Um, I expected to hear a lot, lot more debris slamming, so the noise he was referring to is mostly just howl of the wind. Dan Smith on Hamilton Island. Debbie then hit the mainland and among the first ports of call, Airlie Beach. Power out. Many people evacuated yesterday, of course. A complete lockdown with even emergency crews there not going outside. Now, at Airlie Beach, we spoke to Chris Pannon, who's at home with his own generator and who, as we talked, opened a door and took us outside. Mate, it's crazy here like i've been here for 22 years in tropical north queensland in the wet sundays and i've never seen anything like this it is wild is there debris in the air now are things flying around uh, yeah yeah i'm in the house so I'm, I'm keeping it quite quiet so we can talk uh and you can hear me i've got my both headsets on so i can hear you so <sighs> And you're, you're probably hearing through a Bose headset, so it's, the noise would not be as high. I'll actually take it off from the phone so you can pick up from that. So, ooh, it's windy. So it's actually dropped down a little bit right now. The gust, it comes through like woods. So it's, yeah, it comes and goes. I just put those headset back in because I can't hear what's going on. And so the wind is what sort of speed are you estimating the wind is at, Chris? It's definitely dangerous. I just realised that my uh, the shed down the front of my block, which is for the the pump, the water pump, is the shed's gone missing. So you know that's flying somewhere around. There's, it's definitely everyone has to stay inside. Um, I, my property is usually quite thick with, with um, trees and stuff. I can see all the way through it. Uh, um, this is... So, I'm not sure whether you can hear that roar or not. Oh, well, I'm, I'm very lucky that we have a very solid, solid homestead. Um, so I'm confident. But, however, for those closer into Ely Beach and around, um, yeah, it's, it's, there's a lot of, lot of concerned people right now. 
Chris Pannon at Early Beach. Next to receive Debbie were communities up the coast from Early Bowen being one of them. As with Early Beach, many people had been evacuated from Bowen yesterday and again. Power was down. Of course, the town in lockdown and emergency services not able to go out no matter what. Now, Graham Wilson, an expat New Zealander from Palmerston North who was in Wellington, incidentally, on the Waiheni Day, says he's never seen anything like this weather. He stayed in Bowen because he backed his house to remain standing, but he said Debbie was hitting them hard. He'd lost a few banana trees just before we spoke to him. I'm just watching this poor bloody tree across the road. It'd have to be, I don't know, 50 years old, and it's just popping and belting at the moment. Are you scared being there, or do you feel as safe as you can be in your home? Well, the house hasn't moved or shuttered. Um, I'm standing, of course, in the protected side of the house talking to you. Um, so, of course, you don't cop the, the sound. But, um, hang on, I'll just come round the corner here. This is going to be where it's really going to be blowing. Yeah, no, it's um, it, it's um, it, it's Mother Nature, mate. It's, it's actually beautiful to watch. Um, well, you can hear the rain on the roof now. For that's just the rain pouring down, but uh, beautiful to watch. Are yeah, you there? yeah, I am. It's awe-inspiring. <laughs> I'm listening to it. Are you going to be yeah, okay, that's... Graham? Yeah, I'm just listening. We're just listening to the weather. It's just incredible to hear it. Are you going to yeah. be okay? Are you all right there? Oh, yeah, fantastic. I'm out here actually enjoying it. I, I, had, a, I had my first rum at 6 o'clock. Well, that made it 9 o'clock New Zealand time. And I've only had two since then. So, yeah, no, I enjoy it. I'm one of these blokes that gets out there and Mother Nature amazes me. I just, just love what you can throw at it. And that's why I put on my fence, you know, to Cyclone uh, Debbie. You know, just give us all you got. Bowen's not a pussy town. We'll take it. Uh, my neighbour's fence is just uh, blowing over onto the boundary. Um, there's bits of palm trees and trees. I don't know if you can hear it. I'll just put it out in the wind. I don't know if you can hear that, but yeah, yeah there's debris and leaves and sticks blowing through the air now. Um, it is getting pretty bad now. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Uh, no. That was uh, Graham Wilson and Bowen.